Dracula. In life, you did one deed, which at once cast you out from all hope. You poisoned the pure font of mercy, and not upon such as you can the thony freshness of heaven's bounty fall. You must live henceforth a being accursed, armed against all men, and all men armed against thee. begins when the times changed all things. Tempora, Aeominer, Mutantor. Imagine, if you will, this small classroom somewhere in the United States of America. It is a bright sunlit day. Bird song can be heard in the field outside and a sweet but vulnerable young school teacher is introducing her class to the mysteries of world geography. Please stand. Why, that's just fine. Well, here we are in this small classroom somewhere in the United States of America. It is a bright sunlit day, and bird song can be heard in the field outside. And I, your sweet but vulnerable young school teacher, I'm introducing you to the miseries of world geometry. Uh, geography. Wow. Well, have you got your notebooks ready? Because I tend to get a little carried away. Are you ready? Mmm, sure are. Fine. Well, this here is your rope, and this here is the Mediterranean Ocean. Wow. Well, that concludes World Geography for today. Any more questions? Please, miss. Where about in Europe did you point? I mean, which country in your rope? Where? Well, let's see. Why, that is France. Transylvania. That is Transylvania. Miss, could we go there tomorrow? When our European educational vacation conveniently arranged to fit in with the plot of the play commences. Would you like to go right now? Sure way. Scrummy. I like it, you know what I mean? Have you got your things packed ready? Sure. Scrummy. Crazy, man. Then we shall leave immediately, traveling by air, sea, and train, enjoying the comforts of first-class service, delightful cuisine, and a friendly smile from your tour operator. I learned that from the brochure. Yuck! Passengers for Transylvanian Airways flight to Europe, please report to boarding barrier 27.
Lafayette, Transylvania. <coughs> Goodbye, I'll be the same. And don't say that we didn't warn you. This is your Zyder P. King. Please fasten your safety belts and no, thank Here we go. Madame and children, may I introduce myself? Oh, please do, please do. Uh, Landau? Landau indeed, madam. Conceived in this place in dark lust. Rejected by my father and a victim of vengeance and hatred created by my mother. It is I who lead you through the mists in this waiting carriage. Come, the night draws in quickly. It is not wise to be on the roads late. Come, my lady, into the carriage. Oh, Landau, you frighten me with your urgency. Urgency is the word, madam. This is no place for creatures of flesh and blood. You have come from Transylvania, the edge of the world. Hiya! Standing and attentive to me. Oh, fast as we pass the gallows tree. Let me could take to stand. Possessing woman and devouring man.
Look, my lady, the inn ahead. Oh, heaven be praised. Oh, children, we've arrived safely here, yet I feel a sense of evil about this place. Can these be the people that go about their lives behind drawn curtains? There is an assault to be seen. That is maybe, ma'am. For myself, it's as far as I go. You'll find warm fire and good food at the end of her hands and Frau Gretel. I will say goodbye to you and wish you peace of mind in this dreadful place. Miss, oh, I think there are people here. I feel as if a thousand eyes are watching us. Creepy, you know what I mean? Oh, heavens, Miss Knave! Look, look! Fiends' manifestations! The spawn of hell! Don't be silly, Julie! You've been reading too many books again! No, Miss, it is true! I see faces in the miasmic mist! Julie! You are right! But do not be afraid! These bizarre faces may not be so mysterious! My strong belief in the goodness which exists in all men may dispel all your doubts and fears. Stop preachers and reveal your identities! Oh, 
We must sing more Getsy songs that our fathers and our fathers' fathers and our fathers, 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 fathers. Thought us so long ago about this, our hometown, Galapia. Galapia. and generosity, Herr Handsome Frau Gretel. It's nothing, nothing. Quickly, bring food. Now, will that be enough food for you, my children? Truly overwhelming, Frau Gretel. Scrummy. This is great, no mean. That is fine. Now, while you eat and make ourselves comfortable, I will go and pay your rooms and bed for tonight. Tonight in Carlofi, you must sleep well. As well as one may sleep who dwells below the shadows of the castle of the Black Lake. Hans, enough of such talk. You will give the children nightmares. Do not listen to his stupid prattle. It is all nonsense. Nonsense, is it? As for the Claudium, it was nonsense when they found his sister beneath those dark waters with the innumerable secrets of death and horror written on her tortured face. Oh, I, Claudia knows. Horrible, it was true, her hands. But Gretel, you are right as always. Such dog will give the children nightmares. Or give me an old man rambling. No, I'm interested. Me too. I like creepy stuff, know what I mean? I think we've had enough of old folks' tales and local legends for one evening. I think we should find those beds of ours and catch up on a little beauty sleep. Sleep, she says. Sleep. In Carlofia, nobody goes to sleep unless they have drunk the famous local brew. Local brew? Of course. It has marvelous qualities. Some you can dream whatever you wish for. I like how what you call the stuff, you know what I mean? We call it Clubly! Clubly! Lovely, lovely. I wonder if we have any around. Great 
Joe, the glasses, quickly. Do you want to hear about the lovely Glublik that is made from a fine mountain border and the lovely herbs that grow in the valleys? Why, hair hands. The children have done a little botany this year and I think this is an excellent opportunity for some practical field work. Please continue. It sounds most fascinating and informing. Informing. Oh, informing, of course. Sure. That's right. Tell us, please. What is this Glublik stuff? Fine, but first, charge your glasses and sing with me a chorus of the lovely Glovelick song. The lovely Glovelick! Glovelick! <laughs> if you're a poor man who's full of regret from family matters and problems of death, if you've done all you can but would like to do more, then drink up your Glovelick and freedom. children up the stairs and down to bed. Come, I will show you the way. Good night all and thanks for the good way. See you at breakfast. I'd like to have bye bye, you know what I mean? Sleep tight, little ones. Your talk of evil's imminent may have disturbed the children a little, but I am not nervous. I believe that in some uncharted forgotten corner of the world there is a force of good that will stand defiant against evil and the jaws of death. Little Nadia, this is amazing. You have described to the very life a close friend of ours, a young handsome man. Oh? Yeah, a young handsome man, dedicated, bold and fearless. Dr. Nick Negri Filiak is his name, a brilliant young man of medicine, studying at nearby Hazelberg University. Why, he sounds tremendous, and English too. My own ancestors came from that green and pleasant land. Is this true what you are saying? Indeedy so. They were born in the great city of Birmingham. 
But where does this Dr. Utokov come from? Nobody knows exactly, but what we do know is Goliath are courageous. What do you say in those English terms? A brave say Goliath. Indeed, a positive action man. Why, there is his familiar knock, and he will be accompanied by his close friend, Reverend Nostek who sailed across the narrow seas from the midst of Ireland to be the doctor's constant companion and advisor in their fight against the black arts. Gretel. Hans. Is it that the door I'm hearing? Please open it up. Our friends will be cold and tired. Of course. What am I thinking of? <coughs> it is as we anticipated. Come in, Reverend Ostek. Doctor, Reverend, it is nice to see your kind and honest faces in these parts again. Indeed it is, and we have a surprise for you. See, a pretty young teacher has come from America with your pupils. I'm charmed to meet you, madam. God bless you, my child, and keep you safe in his hands. Well, I'm sure very pleased to meet you both. <laughs> like steel and magnets, we're being drawn together here in this town. I feel it in my very soul. There is a time for talk and a time for quiet. And this is such a time. I must look just upon him, for he is truly a man with whom a woman can feel safe. And I'm feel sure he's well qualified. I feel breathless in the strange and total silence. We'll never forget this one night when destiny has brought us together, if only for a short while. If only I could speak to her, tell her that I love her, that I worship her, that I'm well qualified. This man has a dawnless front. I recognize in him all the qualities essential to the creation of the White Crusader. He has my heart, for this is the first time I've become face to face with a positive action man. And you must be a woman. Thanks. 
certificate Hercules I'm a positive action, not a matter of faction, but a positive action. Got the picture? Yeah, bless you, her hands. And Gretel, I see it is your home cooking we'll be having. Indeed, indeed. A magnificent spread, dear friends. Miss not you. You are here for a holiday. Sightseeing, perhaps. That is so, Reverend. We hope to make a number of visits to your lovely towns and many excursions to your lovely ancient castles. Uh, not here. I would venture no further than our lovely towns. There are many superstitions appertaining to some of the castles in this region. He says, why not to search too deeply into their origins? Listen well to his words. There are things here of which your children should have no knowledge. Believe us. But surely it would be foolish not to extend our knowledge of European history while resident in Transylvania. Nadia, did I tell you one of the most recent pieces of history in our country? Last year, an old and revered man died. It is customary here to dig the graves in rows. As Claude, our grave digger, was making a new grave, he heard sounds of knocking proceeding from the very grave in which his sister had been buried a few days previously. Knowing of my recent researches into life beyond death, oh, yeah. he came to see me, and together we called upon the services of Reverend O'Stake, who granted permission for the grave to be opened. When we returned, the cry still issued from the tomb. When we opened the coffin, we found the body of a woman still warm, her arms and face scratched and bleeding, but here is the moment when we realise the awful truth of the matter. On her, mar on her arms we saw the unmistakable mark of the vampire. She was possessed! I still shudder at this tale. Peace, peace. Frau Gretel, do not upset yourself. It was a year ago now, and the Lord be praised we have no more of it. Many whispers in the village that Count Dracula has returned to his castle and that he and his evil mother have come once again to, to feed on the people of our village. We should have no fear of him now. He has been dead some 50 years <clears throat> and the castle of the Black Lake stands empty. Dead or merely sleeping? Ah. Well observe, Reverend. For the vampire may regain his powers if it cannot obtain it, the life force blood it craves from someone who is sufficiently pure and innocent. I may appear to you a little naive, but what exactly is a vampire? Reverend, the vampire, my child, is the reanimated body of a dead person, believed to come from the grave and wander by night, sucking the blood of persons asleep or hypnotized, causing their death. The vampire can sense the spilled blood on an innocent for thousands of miles and, in the form of a bat, will fly in search of his victim. But is there no protection against such an evil creature of the dark? The vampire brings volcanic and running water. Glass and holy oil. The cross of our Lord. And the sharpened wooden stake, which brings everlasting death. Oh, it's horrible, horrible. <laughs> what is it? Have no fear, Nadia. Stand firm, everyone. This is a late night visitor. None of us wish to welcome. Hands, quickly, the garlic. Please, on someone tell me what all of this is about? You are about to meet the fount of evil on earth, my child. Yes, I know. It is difficult to conceive of evil made flesh. But Count Dracula is such a creature. What draws your evil presence this in? Your blackness best befits only the darkness of your accursed castle. Really, Doctor? How rude and abrupt is your welcome? Not as rude and abrupt as your exit, your B-Day camp. If your purpose is to feed on the souls and bodies of the simple people of this town... Take care, my dear lady. Tonight you have the safety and protection of your inn. Another day, who knows? They are not afraid of you! No! I can guess that these simpletons are only here for the fear. <laughs> Fearful we may be, Count Dracula, but our belief in the church and all that it stands for is protection enough from your powers. <laughs> Come, my friends. Do you not know that my visionary eyes can pierce even the deepest gloom of the darkest grave? And my eyes have such a vision now. 
but this time of beauty and light, a jewel of rare quality. Mademoiselle, you must forgive the coarseness of this riffraff. These stories of an evil reputation are but figments of their imagination. Oh, you are most charmant, Count. Do not be fooled by his fair words and flattery. The doctor, my dear, has never been a great admirer of me or my life's work. Which is strange, we are both, in a way, experts in simple surgery. It must be something of a dying art, eh, doctor? Inhuman phantom, why are you here? Bear about your business and leave, or you'll face me. Oh! <laughs> really, such insults. They put my teeth on edge. If I could but possess some small part of this girl's belongings, some small trinket so I could sup some of the lifeblood I crave, blood which is wasted in her pretty mindless body. My dear, my business is but a simple proposition. I'm a man of immense wealth and will be willing to pay you handsomely if you'll be so kind as to call at my ancestral home. I have a number of uh, daughters who are in much need of private tuition. I would be your undying master, uh, servant, if you'll be so kind as to give them some short lessons in, say, etiquette and deportment. I feel with your experience you could excite their interest and stir their blood. Why, Count? The children and I will need a little extra money for our vacation this year. Yes, I would be delighted to accept your kind invitation. No, 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 no splendid. <laughs> I shall expect you tomorrow night for dinner then. I always have an exceptional appetite in the evenings. <laughs> Forgive me, my dear. A sudden illness, an old allergy with which I suffer from time to time. I shall look forward to our first lesson tomorrow night. Farewell. All is well. He has gone. Only the night miss remains. Not here. Wake from this trance. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been dreaming. You must not dream, child. Nor gives me in vacant stare. Your dream was real enough. And I strongly advise you do not venture into the castle of Count Dracula. Listen well, Nadia, for Reverend O'Stake speaks wise words. You are right. I shall not go. But it seemed for a moment as if he had some power over my thoughts. No, you are right. I shall not go. Tomorrow it be sightseeing first, and then we must travel on. Good girl. Sensible. Very sensible. And now, I must travel on. Uh, no, Dr. Nick. It would be better if you stayed here the night and persuaded our young teacher friend to forget her promise to start night classes. Good night. And God protect you in his infinite wisdom. Good night, good reverend. Come, Reverend, we do must sleep. The night draws in and we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yes, yes, Hand, you are right. Here. I have the bottle ready. <coughs> good night, good friends. And Good night, sleep well. We, we will, we will. will. Doctor, I found tonight's events conflicting and confusing. It is confusing, uh, fusing, Nadia. You see, there exist on Earth certain beings whose lives seem bound by invisible chains to the supernatural. Count Dracula is such a one. He therefore seeks the solitude of his castle, where he dwells alone, save for his crazed mother, the Countess Wraith, and his faithful servant, Genghis. You seem to know an awful lot about him. I do. My studies at Heidelberg University have shown that Count Dracula is truly what we have come to recognise as a vampire. My studies have also shown that vampirism is not physical but supernatural. There is, of course, only one cure for such an occult disease. A cure? What in heaven's name? Oh, it is too terrible to relate to such innocent ears. Come, you must rest. Take my hand. Oh, you are very kind, gallant, and gentle. Well, hush my mouth. Harry, I'm talking away to you, and I don't even know your first name. I hardly like to say. My name is Nicholas Orlando Erasmus Cecil Necrophilia. I know, it is a stupid and ridiculous name. It is not at all, Nicholas. Heavens, what's in a name? It's just a string of words. I like you for what you are, Nicholas, and that's your name. Good night now. Good night. <clears throat> What's in a name, she says. It's just a string of words. She takes me at face value. She likes me as I am. So let me stay. 
just the way, just the way she likes me. All the way she likes me is just the way I am. So let me stay, just the way, just the way she likes me. All the way. Romantic affectations She's the kind of someone Who likes me just the way I am So let me stay Just the way Just the way she likes me For the way she likes me Is just the way to bless there's someone to sweep up for when there's a mess there's someone to stir up if it's only a part of the fire that warms the chill of my heart there's someone to need me there's someone to care there's someone to love me hold me take me need me want me care for me so let me stay just the way, just the way she likes me, all the way she likes me, it's just the way I am. So let me stay just the way, just the way she likes me. Good night, Nadia. And sweet dreams. Good night, Doctor, with a funny name.
one more, I think, Genghis. Indeed, Master. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Crocky's back, fall. Kneeling there, quivering with the castle keys, trembling in your deformed hands. I'm impatient with your tardiness. Please, Master, I try. I have done my best in preparing the chamber rooms and the lower race for your guests. But you work so slowly, imbecile. Can you do nothing faster? You know that tonight everything must be as we have planned. As we have planned. <sighs> After tonight, more of my creatures will walk abroad throughout the earth and all men will acknowledge my genius over life and death. Living on the dead. Uh, ectoplasmic cretin. Uh, have I not found the victims already? Now go, dog, and prepare the lifeblood substitute, or it will be... No! No! The black lake and its smoky depths for your deformed trunk. Please, master! I already feel the cold, watery grip about my neck and the drowned voices of your countless victims. Mercy, I cry mercy, master! Genghis! Anything but a grave at the bottom of the muddy lake! Genghis! Not the black lake! Genghis! Master! The North Tower? North Tower? <sighs> Nobody understands me. <laughs> Mother? Mother, is that you? Mother! Mother! We have some visitors this evening, and I think you should join us. Oh, Maggie, why do you keep your mother imprisoned below in the dungeon that burns at the edge of the steaming lake? Because of your constant chatter, Mother, and... and so And you ridiculous chanting of verse from the past. Not ridiculous, not ridiculous, Draki. Mother, I forbid you to call me by that name. But it is the name that I first called you by, when as a boy you first knelt by your mother's throat. Oh, Draki, not ridiculous. I have had a vision. Not another sea of blood. I see a sea of blood. <sighs> And from it comes the figure dressed in white. He holds the jagged stake above his head, and down, down it plunges. I see you, my son, falling from the black sky, writhing in a hell of agony as you fall, fall into the vast void of everlasting death. Oh, now shall Dracula be destroyed by he, O oh, living memorial to my agony. The man in world shall halt our task and banish both to tomb and dust. Oh, there, I feel much better now. Silence, mother! Enough of this foolish rhyme. I see no obstacles in our pathway, do you? No! <laughs> <laughs> Come, mother in blood. We have the lifeblood experiment to complete in the North Tower. I shall call Genghis. Yes, the substitute. I feel weaker already and my visions become less clear. Fool! Genghis, the North Tower! I am coming as fast as I can, Master! Oh, why does he test me so? Genghis, you should have come here earlier. Why? What did I miss? Nothing, you <laughs> fool! I mean, you should have been here earlier with the North Tower. Is it ready? Yes, Master. Oh, well, don't just stand there drooling, crookback dog. Bring it in. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Come on. Wasting time. Faster. <laughs> you imbecile. Come on. He's taking his time. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> If the experiment works, then soon all my creatures will walk abroad throughout the earth and all men will acknowledge my genius over life and death. Listen carefully. I shall say this only once. Once we have created the lifeblood substitute, we may have living death at our disposal. Do you realize the significance of such power? Yes! What? No, no. The significance is everlasting evil, eternal world dominance. We shall become predators with supreme power. I knew you would go far, Draki. Oh, Master, I 
grovel and fall at your feet. You're master of all. Of course. Oh. And shall I tell you why? Tell us. Tell us. Genius. G E F Y U S. Genius. Genius. <sighs> but how does Lesser Immortals acquire such a gift? Yes. Tell us the formula of this secret. There is no formula, fools. You have it or do not have it? I happen to have it. <coughs> a genius, born in a thousand. Because to be a genius, my pathetic underlings, mom must not only have flair, <coughs> style, <coughs> and sophistication, <coughs> one must have an overpowering hatred for all others who stand in their way. Let me prepare you, if I may, for what I'm going to say. Simply mold your education on human exploitation. And if you can stand the test, you'd be up here with the best. Listen to the connoisseur of crime. If, if you, you want flat style, sophistication, smart, witty, Conversation in your struggle to the top You must let the others rot If you wanna be a super rat like me If you wanna be a super rat like me Let me give you an example You plan a dinner At two or three a cosy over beside the sea. This wealthy heiress you entertain with avocado and pink champagne. So unromantic and unashamed, she'll fuck her up and spot the span. She'll do a loop, but please don't goof. Just relieve her of a handbag and drown her in the you got to be a connoisseur of crime you got to be a connoisseur of crime Oh, you try, Mother. Hey. Oh. I find a lover who's rather rich than buy a cottage beside a cliff. I built the bedroom right on the edge. I've got the feeling you've seen the head. My man is painting and full of wood. I wear my nightie, not the shorts. Here's to a loop, but I won't go. I know we not the doorway and help me with our boots. I want to be a connoisseur of crime. I want to be a connoisseur of crime. My turn, my turn. Very well, proceed. <laughs> Take a job at public school. Teach them on board. Tell them young folks. Prepare a potion. It all flames. They come around. I make a crowd. Pop in the people. No loot for trade. Teacher of chapel. Stacking paste. They look at God. But all the slack.
he will flip, stop, sophistication, smart, witty, conversation in your struggle to the top. You must let the others rot if you want to be a super rat like me. He, if you want to be a super rat, knowing where it's always at, be a super rat a dad like me. He, if you want to be a super rat like me, that's me. <laughs> Mother, but managing a delicatessen in Carlopia is not one of them. <laughs> That's our fool! Quickly, produce the ingredients for the experiment. I have them all, Master. All as you have requested. Excellent. I shall now climb aloft to the laboratory. Take care, Dracula. Now there must be no mistakes. I never make mistakes, Mother. Imbecile, turn on the power! Good, good. See, the chemical process works well. We have only now to add the living tissue. Genghis, a piece of human flesh and make it lean. Which way to do? <laughs> Mother, frivolous drunk, be serious for a moment. Do not interfere, this moment is vital. It's vital. For once formulated, the lifeblood substitute gives us the power to conquer the world. The world. Ugh. Think of it. How could anyone stand against us? Against my army, an army that cannot be killed. Master, you and Tissue. <laughs> How did this happen? It came off in my hand, Master. <sighs> Do not try me. I know I'm only a clumsy fool. But I try. You're not there, I want to try. Peace. Cast the member into the solution. <clears throat> For we are about to create a liquor that will provide... An endless process of birth, procreation and death in one microscopic drop of this supernatural liquid. I was going to say that, Mother. Honestly, that's really upset me. <laughs> Pitch in the hand. Uh, very well, but I shan't forget this in a hurry. <sighs> enough, enough. It is done. The lifeblood substitute. And now at last, we can live on until we find a new victim. Try it, son, try it. For me, this is a supreme moment. I will transcend the barriers of time and space. Drink, master. Drink. It works. <sighs> Each take a draught of the elixir. Feel its renewing strength pour into each fibre of your body. Bottoms up. Don't get over rot, Mother. It could be our young school teacher and her pretentious young brats. I shall go to the gates to meet them, Master. Indeed. But first call and awaken our own pupils. Those fortunate women who have already become my brides in life and death. Then the zombie men. They also be allowed to join in. Of course! All shall be present. Mother, take this earring which I subtly took from the girl and use it to draw her to our presence. If indeed it is she that calls. I have had a vision. Oh, I shall put on a cup of tea. No, stay. Oh, we must know if it is the woman I crave. Uh -oh. I see, I see our blood. And from it comes a girl. A young, nubile creature. Ah. A smoking crystal vapor shrouds her face. Now it clears. I see a young woman of rare serenity. She is perfect. 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 
come, let us welcome her to my vampire empire, high upon this misty hill. To meet you, Chavilius, genius, every second's of a million thrill. Negative and negative rock. Reasons negative and negative rock. Reasons negative and negative rock. I mean, yeah, that's it. to the brats also. They may serve as an hors d'oeuvre before the wedding breakfast. I understand. Come, pretty ones, come to the chamber of Genghis and we'll see if we've got any unusual games to play. <laughs> Anatomically most fascinating. Hey, it's a party! Oh, I like her. Stay loose, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jackie, may I play with the children? There are only certain things that a mother can give to young ones. Perhaps you could play my version of Snakes and Ladders. Mother? Or possibly a beetle drive. Mother? Mother! Jackie? 
gone for pie for our ceremony. Oh, yes. I shall enjoy doing that. Pluto, Jim Barney, Pantu. <sighs> so now I have Nadir in my power. <laughs> Sweet tasting beauty. She makes my blood burn and my heart race with thoughts of moonlight madness. Ah, so all things must wait. The bell tolls three. <sighs> Four. See, the sunlight creeps over the horizon to harass my work. Even now, a dreadful weariness spreads through my body. I feel my flesh crumbling to the bones and my bones felting to the ash. So I must rest a while until the healing night and darkness comes once again. A more revitalizing tonic before the coffin calls. <clears throat> Fuck a harsin! Fuck a harsin! Fuck a harsin! My night kept quickly! <sighs> to sleep, perchance to dream. Oh. <sighs> Come far, Carson. There's much to be done. Later. Miss Nadia! Miss Nadia! Miss Nadia! One more, I think, Reverend. Indeed. Miss Nadia! Not a sign, no sound of them since early this morning. I do not like it well, Doctor. I have a terrible premonition that they have either paid a foolhardy visit to the castle of the Black Lake or have been drawn there by the magical powers of the Countess Wraith. Ah, but here are her hands and Frau Gretel. They may have something favorable to report. Dear friends, have you seen or heard out of our guests? We have searched everywhere. I'm afraid not, Doctor. And I fear the worst. Oh, this is terrible, terrible. What can be done? Do not fret so, Master Nick. Hans and I have sent the villagers and patients of our hospital to search every nook and cranny. They may not be in the, in the hands of Count Dracula, but have gone merely to get food for their journey. Or even to visit the church of Reverend Ostek. See, here comes her booze. He will have news. Steady now, Brother Booze. Calm yourself and tell us what you have to know carefully and in your own words. Three words. Three words. Three words. Second, Second word. word. Small, Small word. word. Small word. Sounds, Sounds like, like uh, waving hot. arms. Smelly. Sounds, Sounds, like 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 Sounds like yeah. Whoa, hot. Sounds like hot. 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 It's not. Gosh! Gosh! Something, get yeah, something. Uh. Third, Third word. Three, Three syllables. syllables. Two syllables. Two syllables. No, second, second syllable. syllable. Sounds, Sounds like. Ear. Like ear. Sounds not ear. ear. Not ear. Something, got not ear. Uh, first word. First word. Gretel in the morning. Um, 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 uh, Dracula. 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 Dracula's got not ear. Uh oh, thank you. Thank you, Brother Booze. You have done well. God bless you, my son. It is as we feared, daughter. Miss Nadir and the children have indeed left our flock and cast themselves unwittingly into the hands of the Black Shepherd. They must act both quickly and without fear. A hands on Frau Gretel. Round spell as many of our friends as you can. Also, contact this man. He's one of my laboratory assistants and has been working on some secret experiments I've been conducting into the vulnerability of the vampire. The information he will give us may be most vital to our cause. When we have all assembled, we'll march on the castle. We will! We will! Indeed, we will! Good. Reverend, the Reverend and I shall leave directly for that cursed place. Reverend, have you the prop? The stage prop? No, 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 no. The pit. The pit prop? The stake! Ah, yes, the stake. Indeed, I have. All is well. Excellent. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye and God bless. Let us hope for Nadia, the children, and all our sakes that we are not too late. Heaven only knows what horrors are flooding through their minds at this very moment.
Dracula Clear before whose eye The present, past and future lie Ere the moonlight and evening dies Seize your bounty Claim your prize Oh master Skilled in magic arts and lore Feed us from thy ample store Prince of vampires King of night Dracula Ectoplasmic dynamite Thank you mummy not even beauteous frippery can hide the marble throat of this my bride. One kiss my bite, my pretty dove, then awaken to an ecstasy of love. Stop! Release those children! Just in the nick of time! How dare you enter my domain uninvited! Seize him! No further! In the name of God, I charge you. In heaven's name, what evil is this? Herr Hans, come quickly! The altar cloth! Frau Gretel, please take the cross and hold these fiends at bay. Grandfather! Pray God we are not too late. Where am I? She's waking. Hold on a stick. Safe, my child. Safe. Nick, is that you? Yes, my own. I'm here at your side. Do not fear. I will never leave you alone again. Oh, Nick, with you I feel safe. Uh, this time it would appear you have the advantage of me. Man of God and doctor of nothing. But you cannot hold us thus for much longer. For so once you are wrong, Dracula. Our doctor has discovered a weakness in your armor. And now he has the opportunity to put it to the test. Weakness? Challenge him, Draghi! What stupidity is this you talk of? Not stupidity, friend, but scientific experiment. During my recent researches into liquids and their cumulative effects upon the vampire, I came by sheer chance upon a new solution until this moment unknown to the world of science. Almost to living beings, but to the unliving. A new solution? Say <gasps> she. What does he mean? And tremble. <sighs> Tell me of this strange liquid. Speak! I fear not. You fear nothing, Count. Then tell me what you think of this. Quickly, my friends. Oh, no! <gasps> no, it is impossible! <laughs> It is aquaglublictus. Precisely, aquaglublictus. Like the fools, we have the answer to your evil. The very night you called at the end of our hands and Frau Gretel. Glublick. And now we shall use it as we should have done then. Destroy them! No! 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 Why are you looking at us like that? I know. <laughs> you can't escape your doom into a statue. Stop the Black Lake! Oh, no! So, you have sacrificed their bodies to the green slime of the lake swamp. <laughs> Is that the fate you intend for me? No, Count Dracula. We know you have no fear of that inky hell. There is only one sure way to end your reign of terror. No! No, not the stake! Yes, no. Count Dracula, the stake. And may God have mercy oh. on your black and evil soul. Oh. Ah. Oh, come down, that I may sleep and be free! <laughs> Look, my love, your eyes should behold only images of beauty. He's right, my dear. Stand back from this accursed place and forget what you have seen and heard. Vice words, vice words, my little lovely dumplings, please, vice words. You mean I must try to erase from my memory all the horrors and torments I have experienced? Yes, my child. Problematic, difficult. Don't blame friends, you know what I mean? Yes, but it must be so. This abomination is over, and we must leave this accursed place. Yeah, I leave as quickly as possible. I shall prepare rooms for everyone in the boo house, for tonight we shall sleep the sleep of peace and, of, and contentment. The loss and Dracula is no more, and the sun will shine again in Calafia. Frau Gretel, you speak with tongue of poetry and beauty. At last, the nightmare is over, and all men can now be free. Yes, we shall return to the inn. Thank you, Gretel. Hans, Reverend, everyone. But I would like to be alone with Nick for a short space. 
Of course, of course. The magic of appetite flows through the evening air. Eh, Gretel? <laughs> you must have a few moments, Pimsy. That is certain. Indeed. Come all. We have much to do. And later, I think I shall be called upon to arrange a small celebration. Do you not think so, Frau Gretel? Ja, ja. Come, everyone, to the end. Come, Hans. Hans. Who is this Afro-dynamite you are talking of? Aphrodite, my love! Do not concern yourself. I love only you, my honey bunch. Children, come quickly. There are three birds too many still in the nest. Sensual and a rapture. Love, hunger. Sloppy stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no, dear. At last we're alone and all evil is behind us. In the brief moments we've been together, I've learned to live. And you have taught me, Nick, that there is not only horror in the world, but love also, and that real amour can overcome all malevo evil. Well, um, this is difficult for me to say. But as you may know, I've recently been conducting some research into physical and emotional sensations. Oh! <laughs> this research is of great importance, and I shall need a great deal of help. So as Wondering if you could consider, that is, whether you feel you could. Yes, Nick, yes, I will be our scientific assistant. Oh, Nadia, at last we can truly fulfill our destiny, loving and being loved. Together we shall spread compassion throughout the galaxies. Take my heart, baby. I'm a prisoner of love, and we shall soar. Put me to the sky, beyond the moon, to drink the nectar from the vaults of time. We two, we two. Oh, no, dear. You know that I know that you know. We can take flight. And we blow on the wings of our love. So let us fly in the blue crystal of the morning. And neither rest nor respite. There's a paradise of our dreams. Both. I'm welcome. 
It is truly refreshing to be safe here in your happy inn. And truly refreshing to be safe from the evil one. You can say that again. And truly refreshing to be safe from the evil one. Uh, Nadia, I think her hands have something he would like to say. Why, her hands, you look extremely important up there on that bench. It will be one of his poems, especially written for the occasion. A poem I can toast with the mayor and, and with my hands. Okay, now, now quiet, please. Now we are hopeful of peace and content. We've witnessed the end of the black ball content. So raise up your glasses and drink from the quick and talk to our heroes during Nadia and Nick. That is it? That is it? It is a beautiful poem. Not long, my pumpernickel, but the best you have ever written. <laughs> We can guess the news you have for us. For is that not just the suspicion of a blush on new Nadia's fair cheek? Oh my heavens, does it show? It does indeed, my child. And if my guess is right, then you have named the day? We have indeed, Reverend. And the time of our betrothal will be this very night, if you will be so kind as to carry out the ceremony. I would let no other priest have the honor. Dear friends all, the young doctor and the lovely teacher are to be wed tonight! <laughs> I'm sure that you will be very happy together. <laughs> oh, I thank you both very kindly, for this is a secret I have kept on my own for many years, and I now feel I can speak openly. As, I was, as a child, I was an orphan and spent most of my years alone and uncared for, but now I can truly say I found a mother and father of my own. Yeah! <laughs> Come, Reverend, the wedding. Nadia, we shall be wed tonight, travel to Heidelberg in the morning, and after a short honeymoon, return to our university studies. Oh, Nick, I love you! decided to be joined here today in Calafia, according to the ancient promises and customs that have been in use here for hundreds of years. The ceremony is simple but lasting, as your love and pledge should be. Do you, Nick, love Nadia truly? I truly do. And do you, Nadia, love Nick truly? I truly do. <laughs> then, Nick and Nadia, in as much as you have sworn that you love each other truly, and have witnessed publicly to that truth, I now pronounce that you are no longer two, but one in our sight and your love. Yay! 
since the first night we opened up our theatre door, we've done our best, the best, can do no more. So, dear friends, off to your blessed homes of peace. Once entered there, your quarrels must all cease. And as for vampires and those lakes of black, there are no such things, so sleepy well at that. This loving couple will need our special care, so think on them and in their fortunes share. Thank you, Reverend, for your kind words and actions. Thank you, Reverend. It is one of my duties to join together loving couples, but this was more of a pleasure than a duty. May you always have joy together. May your homes never be cold. Quickly, Greta, to presents. From hands and eyes, from our hearts to your toes. May they always be warm and tender. Was it my friend? Mary, almost daily, my love bed. Miss Nadia, may you realize everlasting bliss and happiness in your marriage. Yes, say, I hope you can cook. Like a cool vibrations, you know what I mean? I think they uh, know what you mean, Elvis. But come, you must all you no longer. Be off with you and start your new life together. Coachman, take their bags. Goodbye and God bless. Here, let me help you with those. They are very... No, this is not possible. On the contrary, my friend, it is very possible. Go fair, Nadia. I will protect you once again. Oh, will you, darling? I think I should run. Are you fiends? Negative, 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 negative,